Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Today is a huge, huge update day. I uploaded all of the contraband stream and covered the patch notes and stuff uh, in earlier vids. Check those out if you guys haven't already. But new DLC weapons have been added and this first gameplay here, I'm going to be showing gameplay of you guys, for you guys of the Switchblade X9 new DLC submachine gun available at tier 100 in the current contraband stream on PS4 first and then it comes to Xbox and PC uh, next week. Uh, pretty cool SMG here, the Switchblade X9. Of course, it's update day, so a lot of videos, a lot of content coming to my channel. Uh, I'm showing you guys some private match footage with it here, um, uh, basically uh, combat training, testing out and experimenting with this weapon, and just going to talk to you guys about what's available on it, what I think the strengths and weaknesses are, and my first impressions, and um, you know how good I think this weapon is, or different things, things like that. Drop a like. Let's go for 1,500 likes. I'd very, very much appreciate that. Like I said, update day, so I'm super busy with covering content. And I'll have much more videos out for you guys. So stay tuned to the channel. Turn on that notification squad. Subscribe if you guys are new. Smack that like. And let's get right into it. So this is a free DLC weapon. And you can earn this one for free basically by just playing and going through those 100 tiers. So the best ways to do it would be getting your daily login bonuses and simply grinding the game. Now, of course, the reason I have this weapon already is because I purchased the tiers um, straight up. So uh, because I'm a content creator and I want to show you guys off this stuff and talk about it. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? In my opinion, this weapon is pretty dope and cool and i think it's something that it's worth grinding for at least on the uh tiers you can purchase it if you want it right now up front but i would probably recommend just grinding for it and getting it over time because this weapon is pretty cool first of all let's talk about it. it's a full auto submachine gun it's a folding gun with superior handling and a smaller ammo pool so it's a different very very interesting sort of weapon it has um sort of mid to low level uh, level damage low level range a high fire rate and mid level accuracy and the thing I noticed about this is first impressions were it's kind of like the mix of a P90 and a PP90, which is weird. And the first thing that it reminds me of is sort of like a Weevil split with like a PP90, something like that. Because, of course, it's similar to the Weevil in Black Ops 3. And by the way, in this gameplay's uh, footage, you'll see me using it with a red dot, with an ELO sight, without one, and different stuff like that, experimenting with different things. So this weapon uh, is pretty awesome up close it has a nice fire rate and can melt people fairly quickly up close then when you get more out towards mid-range it is controllable one thing that i did notice about the attachments is i used it with a grip and without a grip and even i expected it without a grip to be kind of crazy but it was very very controllable so i will say that was pretty good off my first impressions um it definitely seems like something that's going to be a deadly weapon up close but of course is it it's an up close fast firing smg you can't really expect too much from it out of range as far as attachments that are available a cool thing about this weapon is there's 10 different attachments available for it including some very very cool ones now quick draw of course always going to be a good attachment uh to go to on any smg pretty much any gun for that matter grip is very helpful on this weapon as well but like i said you can still use it without grip i mean grip's going to help you to control the recoil however i think that with a weapon like this if you're going to get used to using an smg like this or even like an smg like a spitfire or a cordite or something that's a fast firing submachine gun or fast firing high recoil gun you have to learn to pull down against that recoil with your right thumbstick next is the stabilizer which reduces the weapon sway i'm not sure how strong that would be it's something that doesn't seem like it would make too much of a difference when most of your gunfights are close range anyway stock which i love on this smg because it will allow you to sort of just double down on strafing and winning gunfights up close hybrid mags also which is you pretty much have to run hybrid mags on this thing like i say about hybrid mags if it's if it's available take it rapid fire one and two quick draw one and two laser sight and fmj so i think there's gonna be some crazy class setups designed around this thing with like stim shot uh, rapid fire one and two there's a lot of experimenting and uh with different class setups and seeing what can work best for this weapon that can be done and of course i'll be doing that over the next couple days as well as like the, just the whole game has basically shifted with this new update and there's just so much content it's gonna be coming throughout this week on my channel into next weekend and, and continuing on and on. So that's um, my first impressions as far as this weapon. I think it is really cool and I think it's a weapon that doesn't seem like it's going to be absolutely game breaking. Like if you don't have it, you're screwed over. However, it does seem like a weapon that's going to have a good spot in the game and is dope because it's going to help people rush with it. The attachments available for the optics are of course going to be a reflex or a uh, which is like the red dot sight or a elo sight. And I'll show you guys some more footage here for the rest of the video. Me using it 
with a red dot, messing around with a few different class steps on it, and different camos and stuff like that, and um, that's about it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like on this thing if you guys could. I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Watch as much of it as you guys want to, and more and more videos covering this new content, this 1.13 patch update, coming to my channel very soon. Check out my videos. I already up, up, up not, not updated, uploaded, and yeah, off to go do some more work, cover some more stuff. I'm uh, Dude, we need this update. Let's be real, and I'm super hyped about it. All right, enjoy the gameplay. I'm out. Peace. Wasted that medic. Trail system good to go. Recon down. They're gone. Recon down. UAV standing by. Medic down. Hostile medic down. I'm calling it. Wasted nomad. UAV standing by. Soul pack right here.
attack him. Get a UAV on station above. UAV established overhead. That's a kill. Your UAV has been destroyed. Your CUAV has departed the AO. Got him. Available for tasking. Tango down. CUAV available. Wasted Nomad. 